In this tutorial in Microsoft Word, I'd like to show you how you can navigate around your document using the View menu and some of its options. I'm going to click above the ribbon on View, and that tab will give me a new ribbon. The default layout, unless you change it in your system settings, is Print Layout. This is the one that we're most familiar with in Microsoft Word. Let me show you a couple of the others. We have also a web layout, and if you click on that, that will show you what your layout will look like if you were to publish this in HTML as a web page. I'll go back to print layout. Another option is read mode. When you click on that, it will maximize the width and basically it enables you to read flipping from one one full screen to the other left to right. We can click on the button at the top and move back to the print layout. Another option that you have, I'm going to enlarge the screen a little bit here, zoom in a little more here. One other option you have is you can click on outline. This is where you will see your document shown as bulleted points. If I click here, I find my headings are out on the left side, my subheadings are over here, and the other paragraphs are bulleted. So this is how it handles it. It doesn't actually change anything, but it shows the text formatting. Now when you're using a bullet list, you can move from one area to another uh, using the arrows. You can choose all levels or just some levels. If I choose one and two, it gives me a condensation of my document. If I show level three, it will, it will give me one more. And then uh, I go all levels and I see all the content. I can also, also say show first line only. And so if you have a long complicated document, this can help you prepare maybe a PowerPoint presentation or to see the order of logic, how things tend to flow. Then you can simply click on close outline view and you'll go back to your main view. Back on the view tab, let's show you a few other things. You also have a grid lines you can check. Uh, this is where you can position items and see where they are. The north, south, east, and west. And the ruler, which we have turned on, I like the default to have that on. You can also turn on the navigation pane. Let me show you what that does. When you want to navigate through your document, you have three options. You can click on Pages, Results, or Headings. And these are all tied to your searches. If I want to search uh, for the word fish in my document, I press Enter and I find it pops over to my page, but this tells me I'm on page three where I found the word fish because pages is highlighted. I also can click on headings and this gives me an example of the outline where I see the title of the document and the various formats that are assigned to headings. This is assigned to a heading style and so is this one and so is this one here and when I click here I get to see the headings of my document. The other option I have is results. That simply is going back to the navigation. If I want to search something, let me click on the word change. And it found 12 results of where the word change occurs in one form or another in my document. So I can click on the navigation tab and close it. The yellow marks go away. It's found all at once too. Let me give you a couple other things you can do to change this. You can click on the zoom here as well as on the slider bar in the lower right. You can do one page or multiple pages. Let's click on multiple pages. And this gave me three pages on the screen at the same time. I can click back to one page and I'm showing one of them. I'm going to zoom in a little bit since I have more real estate to work with. Another thing you can do is you can split the screen. I have, I'm working in one document, but I can keep the top front part here and I can scroll down to the bottom part. 
and I can edit anything I want. I can change this uh, word here to um, cupcake. And uh, any edits I make in this screen, since it's the same document, will be reflected on the screen above it. So here I'm now at the same location in my document. You can take this line and you can adjust it up or down, or you can move it all the way to the top and it'll disappear. Or you can do an unsplit. Once I've split here, I can simply click on the icon in the toolbar that says remove split and that will do it as well. Another option I have is I can click on, we'll take the split away, I can create a new window. And now I have my document in two separate windows. I can't put them exactly on top of each other uh, in the case of the screen capture I'm doing. But I will click behind here and you'll see there's one window and then back in the screen where you can see there's the other window. And I can switch windows between one and two and again, we're working on the same document. So if I go view here, I can view them side by side. And what you see is two copies of the same document side by side. I had to resize my capture screen in order for you to see that. But you see one is sample 3.2, the other is sample 3 colon 1. Uh, two versions of the same document. So if I edit one document, for example, I'll type in the word on the left side. You see it's copied on the right side because once again, you're in the same document. But you get the opportunity to see it. The scroll can be hooked together or they can scroll independently one from another if that's what you prefer to have it do. And you can go back anytime you want to to a single document. So you have several ways that you can use the view screen in Microsoft Word to navigate around your document, especially for long documents. This is very, very important. The view menu is helpful when you want to see your document from one or more different perspectives. If you found this short lesson useful, we'd like to ask you to like us and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to check out SharperTurtle.com where you will find all of our lessons categorized for easy reference. Thank you.